1993, Domingo founded Operalia, an opera competition with the aim of discovering the best new singers worldwide. It's since become a hugely successful annual event. Good evening and welcome to the Operalia competition. You have indications in the program of how many great singers they have been coming out of this competition and this year you are going to realize it's going to be the most difficult task to decide who the winners will be. You will see for yourself. I know his Operalia is really doing extremely well and um, a lot of young students going. I'm hoping that they will go on to greater and better things. But this is what we need for the, for the new generation of singer. Nearly 50 years ago, as a very young man, you sang with one of the great sopranos. And I sense from that moment, you felt the need to pass the baton on. I sang Lucia with Lily Pons, and this makes a, a phenomenal ensemble of happenings. Because Lily Pons sang her first Lucia with Gilly. Oh. And... Uh, this performance of Lucia with me, and it happens to be her very last performance of Lucia. So it was kind of an unbelievable connection, if you can imagine. You're continuing this tradition that Lily Pons began with you. Exactly, you know. I always say that uh, my career is so long now that I have been, I was able to sing like with Lily Pons and with Magda Olivero. I was singing with uh, some ladies, and certainly they had the age to be my mother. And then I start to sing with the sopranos, and they could be my sisters, or little sisters, two years less than me, three years less than me, like Kiri, for instance, you know. And then all of a sudden I start singing with sopranos, and they are all my daughters. Simon Bocanegra is the story of a father and daughter. And Placido Domingo playing the baritone role is certainly old enough to be the father of this soprano. Would other tenors be able to take on a baritone role in this? Is this transition? You can't compare Placido to other tenors or to anybody else because he's, he's unique the way he is. He's unique in his intelligence, in his musicality, in the beauty of his voice, in the quality of his technique, and in the intensity that he puts into it. When he starts singing, this is the most important thing for him at that moment in his whole life. <laughs> The man who is never satisfied with what he does, he wants more. He says, well, if there is something else that I could add, I haven't found it yet. The last few weeks you've been here preparing for Simon Bocanegra, but there was a period of five or six days when you were in different continents all over the world and expected to perform. Well, just before I came here, yes, I have a tour of different concerts and I was I was in China and I was in South America and I was in Kazakhstan, I was in Moscow. I wish sometimes he would say, look, please don't follow my example because you'd get a young tenor coming through and thinking they can do what he does. And and I'm trying to tell those these young people, please don't do this because you can't do this. How much longer can Plastico go on singing for? I, I think go on for as long as you can. If it's if it inspires people, why not? not 
by any means your final performance. I, I suspect that you're going to be well into your 70s and you're still going to be performing. Well, I have accepted things until, let's say, to 2013, 2014. So that will make me 73 in 2014. So, so yes, let's see. Let's see what happened. <laughs> I know one thing. I have enough faith in his objectivity and his capacity to judge that nobody will have to tell him, Placido, leave it now. You can't anymore. It doesn't, you know. He will know that before anybody else does. 